Hello and welcome to a new episode of Potation Rotation. We are going to play the Lawnmower Simulator today. And let me tell you something. This is what I'm drinking. I am drinking the Coheed and Cambria Coffee Roasters Infernal Blend in my Coheed and Cambria Coffee Roasters Asobu. Is that how you say it? Um, drink container. I poured this coffee in here a little over three hours ago and it's still piping hot like it just got done brewing. This this container is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And the coffee itself, phenomenal. Phenomenal coffee. All right. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Coheed and Cambria, Coffee Roasters, Coheed and Cambria is a band. If you're not familiar with their music, you need to become familiar. All right, so lawn mowing simulator. Hmm. That's a mighty fine good coffee in a mighty fine container. Let's get started, shall we? Career mode. Uh, in career mode, you run a new lawn mowing company, com completing contracts to earn money and reputation points to build up your company. As your company grows, you can expand by purchasing new vehicles, hiring employees, and unlock new location contracts. Okay, all right. So let's. Uh, hmm. We recommend new players follow tutorials. Okay. Company name, huh? Uh, how about Poda? Rhoda. Hmm. What is what is Porta Porta Rhoda Lawn Care? Porta Rhoda. I'm trying to think of something that, that's catchy. Porta Rhoda. There really isn't anything that could go with that. Porta Rhoda Lawn Care, I guess it is. It's Care. I don't know. I'm not very. <laughs> I'm not very. I'm not thinking. Uh, okay. It's fine. Okay. So, uh, Porta Rota Lawn Care. Oh, it's in Euros? And why does it say Monday, March? I guess maybe that doesn't. Company logo. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. That's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, they're all. Let's go with the. Let's go with the blade. Yeah. Edit player. Okay. Um. That would be me. Porta Rota Paul. Let's go with Paul. I should go with Link. I think that'd be funny. Oops, I don't need a space. Uh, I really don't care much about the avatar. Definitely don't want to be female, though. I really don't have much of a choice. I guess five is fine. I like blue, I like dark blue. Front and back. I don't see my logo. No, I like to see people going, looking at me. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, what's a good accent with that blue? Actually, the blue is an, uh, an accent. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Like the darkest blue you could possibly get, I guess. Secondary color. Oh, there we go. That's the, like the accent. Well, that should match my hat, I feel. So we'll go with that. Confirm. Confirm. Okay, I guess we're good. Test drive. 
Uh, you have a company of your own, you'll need to... You need your first vehicle to get cutting. Select a vehicle from the list below. And take it for a spin. Uh, this vehicle is equipped with a collector type deck. That means as you cut it with the grass, clippings are sucked up into the vehicle's hopper. Um, no grass clippings will be left unless you overload the engine or your hopper is full. This vehicle is equipped with mul mulcher type deck, means cut a grass clippings there. Cut so small, no visibilities are left. That's kind of cool. No piles of grass clippings will be left unless you overload the engine, which will mean the deck doesn't have power to cut the grass blades. Huh. Uh, I don't know, man. This this night mower, oh, the LFS1, is looking pretty sweet. Then we go ahead and, and select that one. Uh, yes, accept. Uh, when using a side discharge mower, well, I'm not using one. Uh, test area, f familiarities. Approach the vehicle. Oh my god, that coffee needs to kick in. Approach the vehicle to get on it. Use left and right to move and look around. Use RB to sprint. Interesting. Call that RB. Uh, okay, so anyway. Once you're in your vehicle, you will need to get it started and onto the grass. Each vehicle is slightly different to get going. Follow the steps to get it started at the bottom of the screen. With the vehicle started, take a moment to get used to it and then drive over the grass to the grass and you can start cutting. Hold X. I got a phone call coming in. Increase the throttle. Use left or right to change the vehicle's throttle setting. Use RT to accelerate and LT to brake reverse. Change the cut height by pressing up and down. Lower cutting deck. Use B to lower and raise the cutting deck. Wow, this is... Use X to engage and disengage the cutting blades. Which just stopped the engine. Okay. I think I got it. Get ready to cut once on the grass. You now need to get your deck ready by first setting the cut height and then engaging the cutting blades. You should only ever turn on your blades when on grass, otherwise you'll damage them. Oh, shit. Uh, I already got them on, I think. When on contracts, you'll be required to cut the grass for a certain height. Each contract will have its own height the grass needs to be cut to. Set your cut height within the range of 5 to 6 centimeters and cut to 20% of the grass. Jesus. While cutting, you can track your progress with the bar on the top right. Progress bar shows you how much of the required amount you have to cut. Grass cut at the correct height fills the bar white. Grass is cut too short, fills it with red. Okay, so... Okay, so five, five to six, yes. We got fuel. Oops, I don't know if I'm supposed to be cutting those. I'm guessing not. I wonder what the red was for. 
Is it because I'm cutting shit I'm not supposed to cut? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty chill. The sound of the mower. I'm doing a shitty job around the edges. I, I, I uh, this is the closest I'm gonna get <laughs> to ever doing a riding mower. Uh, I only ever use push mowers. So I wonder if there's like a like a whole thing where it's like they make you do fancy cuts or something, like designs, like baseball stadium type shit. This is a huge fucking yard. Uh, oh, by holding R while stationary, you can engage Pro View, which highlights areas of grass that have not been cut to the required height. This is useful when you're trying to find the last bits of grass. Okay, so pressing down on the right trigger. Not entirely sure why that keeps turning red. I think I'm my throttle's at a good pace. Do I have like a time limit? Okay, well, I mean, that was that, right? So now I can come into here. Oh, see, I missed, I missed a bunch over there. But I don't know if those are bushes. Man, this is quite satisfying, actually. missed a bunch. Yeah, for whatever reason, it's a little weird. I, I'm not sure why that does that or what that's supposed to mean. We're going too fast, like down a hill or something. I gotta slow it down. <laughs> this is a crazy fun game. This is so weird. It's so weird that it's so freaking chill and shit. Oops. Let's back it up a little bit. So yeah, that must be like a hill thing. When that gets red, it must be because I'm going downhill, I'm going too fast. I mean, there's like a lot to this. It's kind of crazy that there's that many like instructions for doing this. Um, I mean, yeah, it's... pretty realistic. So I wonder if I should like pick up on those like extra spots that I missed. Now this should be smooth here. It should just smooth transition from when I fixed it before. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to get this little bit of stuff here. Back it up a little bit. Back it up. I don't know if I'm supposed to be killing this shit or not, but I'm going to. Maybe it's extra tall grass. Because I don't think they got weed whackers and shit in here yet. So, uh, yeah, when my mower goes against the wall there, I can feel like it's smacking, smacking itself and... I don't think that's good. 
So there's some grass left here. Oops. Get up. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. Some extra pieces in here. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. What was that? Right there. How's my blade condition? Vehicle can okay, so yeah, um, I'm fucking things up a little bit, slowly but surely. So yeah, I don't think getting that is helping my progress at all. It was like. things around the edge there. So I guess I didn't have to cut these down, which... <laughs> oh well, I guess. I don't know. See, around where I live, that's extra tall grass. That looks like that. It's fucking grass that you just didn't cut. So... Oh, there's a bunch here. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm trying to turn this thing. Just gotta get used to it. It's the tutorial, right? It's the tutorial, guys. Even the tutorial is pleasant in a way. So I don't I think I'm gonna get all that because it doesn't seem to matter. I just want to get the grass that I missed. Because rumor has it, as of right now, they don't, like, have edgers or trimmers or anything like that. So, weed whacker type stuff. Um, So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get real up close to those edges there, real up close to those edges. All right, so we can start getting back into the grass here. I'm only supposed to do twenty percent of it, but uh, you know I'm a completionist, so I gotta do the whole thing. I gotta do the whole thing. Oh, I left some some shit standing there, but that's all right. See, there's some grass in there. That's got to be grass. Ambient noise. I'm surprised they don't have just random ass people like walking around and shit. They did a pretty good job of making the world around me um, pretty freaking realistic, but there goes my phone. But um, yeah, they could have added some people just going about their business and shit. That would have been kind of cool. A little bit more lively. I hear the sounds of cars driving by. I don't see any cars driving by. That's where I backed up, so. I wonder if it's going to stop when I'm at 20%. So there's a road up there. I don't see anybody driving on it, but I can hear cars. Great work. In a real contract, however, you will be expected to cut all the grass. When the contract has been completed, you have to drive your vehicle back onto the trailer to end it. Let me 
just check my phone real quick. It's just a order notification of shipping or delivery or something. All right. So let's just drive, return, return to the vehicle, to the trailer. So he's not even cutting it anymore, is he? Oh, hey! Did I have to back it? Oh, reverse it. God damn it. So I should probably I like how they got the Whoa. <laughs> Got some hydraulics on that, son of a bitch. After completing the test drive, you can now purchase the vehicle, or I can just drive the other one. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and purchase it, I guess. Dang! Look at that, achievement unlocked, the dream begins. All right, this is a contract map where you can see available contracts to select and start. Now your company is set up, you have a mower. Select the contract button at the bottom of the map. Uh, I mean, sure. Okay, front garden, old nook cottage. Front garden at old nook cottage requires a general cut. The lawn is surrounded by flower beds, so take care not to damage them. Don't leave grass clippings in the beds. Small area, flower beds flat. Value 330. Lira. <laughs> 50 RPs. One star complexity. Alright, recommended deck width. Uh, I, I, my deck is my deck. It's not going to get any bigger or smaller. Cutting height. That's important. 5 to 6. Ground check time limit. 4. I don't know what that means. Uh, recommended cut time is 26. Completion target 99%. 99% general Five to six. I think that's... Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's get this done. Let's get this grass mowed. Let's get it looking all nice and... Ooh, that is a nice, nice little cottage there. The old nook cottage. Oh. Hear the bird chirping? Yeah, buddy. Ooh, gosh. Um, that could be a problem. That could be a problem getting it up on the lawn there. Okay, anyway. So that was the lawn. The start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove objects on the grass area that could be damaged or damage your vehicle. You can choose to skip the ground check and have the objects automatically removed by interacting with your mower, but this will mean you don't earn money or RP. Okay, so... Oh, this is the ground check thing. Ah, nice. I like this part. This is cool. This is, like, legit. This is legit. Um... I only have so that's what the four minutes is. Yay! I did it in record time too. I, I might I might add. 
With the ground check complete, it's time to start cutting the grass. Start your vehicle up and drive over to the lawn to begin. Nice car. Fucking James Bond and shit. Your performance during cutting will affect how much money and RP you earn. Find the balance between speed and careful driving. Avoid damaging flowers. What do I want to do? Like, how do I want to... Just like that. Like that. That's good. Off we go. Off we go. We're off to the races, folks. I don't know if this is a good enough speed or not, but we're going to go with it. They're not going to see me miss... Uh, whoa. Whoa. They're not going to see me miss any grass and up in these bushes, right? Just doing a general cut, nothing fancy. This is it, folks. This is a real, real lawn we're cutting here. This is somebody's, somebody's backyard here in this cottage, this lovely little cottage out in the countryside here. The bird chirp in. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to like go in and out. In and out of those things. In, in and out. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was really close. That was really, really close. That could have been, that could have been really bad. Alright, so let's do this. Back it up. Disengage that blade thing. Because it'll damage the blade. Remember that. Remember that, everybody. You only engage the blade when you're on the grass. When you're on the grass. Just a little bit here. Okay, so what we can do is we can just back right into here carefully. We'll just start here. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Very nice. This is so fucking chill. I wish I could take this game on the go. Eventually when I get my Steam Deck, I could uh, take it on the go. For now, the Xbox is going to do. Uh, let's get some of that leftover grass there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, we're looking for a 99%. We're already 20% there. Already 20% there. You know me. I gotta get that 100%, yo. 100% is a nice, clean, crisply cut lawn. Potorota lawn care. Potorota lawn mowing company. What a fucking. I forgot what I fucking named it already. Pota. Yo, I'm just cutting grass, yo. I'm cutting grass. I'm cutting grass. There's some over here. Ooh. Back it up. That's okay. We'll adjust. We'll adjust. I'm usually not that sloppy when I when I cut the real lawn, but uh, I also use a push mower, so. You know, I feel like doing this. I'm gonna just do this.
we're not trying to do anything fancy, right? So let's get rid of this area here. Trying to go into a circle, yeah, here we go. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> I'm legit getting dizzy. Alright. Nice and tight. Nice, tight. Uh-oh. You have managed to damage the ground and destroy some of the grass. It's caused by turning your vehicle at full lock for extended periods of time. Oh, shit. Man, I didn't know that. So what now? I can't... It's not engaging. Oh, I did damage the grass. Let's see... Divots. There we go. Alright, well... Fuck me. I didn't know that. I I didn't. I don't think it said like, oh, and don't like do tight turns and shit. So you can see the extra like ground spots there and stuff. Yeah. Fuck. Live and learn. No tight turns. No tight turns. Cutting the lawn. This I don't like this view. Kind of like that view. But I'm not getting the full lawnmower sound being this far up. I don't know what's going on. It keeps like disengaging. So the blade keeps turning off. Not entirely sure why. some there if I don't correct myself. That's crazy, man. I didn't know a lawn fucking lawnmower would riding lawnmower could do that. I must do that in reality, I'm assuming then. It's so weird that it like turned off here. I thought I was Literally cutting the lawn and never did. Never cut any of this. I think I'm going at a good speed, ain't I? There goes the telephone. I don't think I like turning here that much anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to do this. There we go. Oh, I don't even have like much to do here, so I could probably do this. Yes. Can't see. Uh, 
this is a little... Yeah, this is a little, like, weird here. Now, this is what I would do, like, with my push mower. Like, go around this shit, like this. It's not leaving. The thing is, is like, unlike in like real life, what did I do? Oh my god, I'm just not. I'm not turning this thing anymore. You gotta be kidding me. I barely did anything. I just turned the goddamn thing. Wow, that's crazy. Give me a push mower, man. Shit. Alright, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's not leaving, like, the fine lines and stuff. I have to reach 99% in 20 minutes, don't I? How am I cutting at the wrong height? What? I must have hit that by accident. Man, you gotta be like really careful and shit in this game. Holy fuck. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is as fast as I can go, right? So... Where did I cut the grass at the wrong height? I can't even tell. gonna get this done in time. We're gonna try to do a shortcut here. Hopefully this will work. Question is, is I'm going to finish this in time. So I believe I had 20 minutes, right?
Okay. So that should pretty much be done all that on that side there. get it done. I at least hope they hire me back. I mean, I made some damage, but I mean, the flower beds I've, are, I've kept intact. I don't know if you get uh, the same jobs or not in this game. left so it's I don't think it's gonna be a hundred percent perfect. I just don't think try not to damage anything. More additionally I don't remember which button. What am I missing? I thought the right button showed me like uncut grass or something. I can't remember. I'm missing some shit. Well, where am I missing grass? Here. That did nothing. Well, you know that. This is really awkward. It's like I'm missing like a whole patch somewhere. But where? Uh, okay, well. Whatever, I don't know what the even what I'm doing anymore right now. Like what am I missing? It had to be Oh, that was it.
Just making sure that front thing is up. Okay, so uh, this might be like the best way, best view to do this. Yeah, well, how many freaking penalties did I get? I still think it looks good. I think that is a fantastic job. Ooh, lots of notifications now. Good morning. Hmm. Okay, anyway. I think it looks good. I think I did a good job. I think people are just too goddamn picky. All right, so. Uh, what was the potential? Well, it says the value was 310, right? I got 608, 20, 10, zero valuables recovered. Unless all that shit. Uh, collisions, ground damage. But it says my total is 343. Oh, because I got the I got the bonuses. So that kind of covers that kind of covers the losses. All right. Uh yeah, so now what do I do here? Uh new to the night fleet is the agile OFS1 blah blah blah. Yeah, that's the value. Um, I'm just opening, uh, getting a bunch of stuff here. So, um, yeah. So I need to fix. I need to fix some stuff, right? So let's fix some stuff. How do I do that? Yeah, I'm. I'm trying here. Repair vehicle. Full. Rep full repair. Engine repair. Let's do a full repair. Blades, let's do a full repair. I mean, I've got the money, right? All right, let's fill the tank. Dang, that was the most expensive. Okay, so that's that's it, right? We're done, we're done. Uh, attachments, none. Stats, cell vehicle. Part exchange, part exchange vehicle, what is that? Should I buy the other one? I mean, let's buy it. Um, that's that's the point. Rare achievements. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to. I don't want to exit career mode. Now, do I have both? I have. I have both, right? No. I don't know what I did. No, I don't want to do that. I think there's a, I don't, I don't think there's anything else I can do. Okay. Um. Sure. I mean, let's just keep going here. I'm the only employee. And yeah, somehow I got rid of my, I wanted both vehicles. I wanted both in my repertoire. Fuck. So I gotta I gotta find out what I did wrong there. I wanted to buy the second one. Uh anyway, uh completion target ninety nine point five. It's a general cut six to seven. Within twenty six minutes. Medium era flower beds intricate. All right, so this is going to be the last one uh, we do here. Hmm. That's a fancy lawn. Fancy. We got we got some rich sons of bitches up and all up in this game. Uh okay. Uh dog hole, don't need the dog hole. I don't 
know what the hell that was. The gnome. Hey, I thought I just saw a person. Oh, there's a car. Ha, dang. Okay. You can end a contract early by returning. This is gonna be a different than the other one. This control is a lot weirder. It's not as it's not as smooth, it's not as fluid, it's a little jerky. It's a lot louder too. So far so good. Oh yeah, there's a car. Look at that. I got my wishes granted. A little bit more realistic reality, realism going on in the background. So, I mean, this one ain't too bad yet. Once you kind of get like This is like the best way to probably do this part. Without damaging anything. Missed a chunk. There we go. Oh, there's some like shit in the middle there. With the push mower, you can go around in tight ass circles and not fucking damage a goddamn thing. I never thought about that. Like, when you think about riding mowers, think about how, well, I mean, how lazy it is to actually use one, number one. So I like, I like in my workout, I like spending an hour outside cutting the lawn. But, uh, you don't think about, you know, running into things. Like, I never thought about, like, running into things. I never thought about you know, tight turns with the wheels damaging the lawn. I never thought about stuff like that. I have thought about, like, like, God, it must suck, like, when you're, like, you know, trying to do, like, a, an area around a pole or something like that. Like, that's got to kind of suck. Is that a cow? I thought I just heard a cow or something. I'm leaving a bunch of shit behind here. It doesn't have... I don't know where... Where does it even cut? In the back? Is that what I gotta be paying attention to? I should have test driven this one too. I think I got it. I think it cuts in the back. tell you. I mean, the ambient noise is, is great. I'm, I'm kind of glad they focus on that. Um, but for the first time ever, playing a game where I, I could probably use a little bit of music. Probably use a little bit of music. With how chill this is as well, uh, maybe some Yanni or some Kenny G. Kind of Gonna get that experience of just being being chill going. I don't know. 
This is like the Bob Ross of video games right here, everybody. This is it. It's just too bad I can't uh, be your Bob Ross. And Hey, you know what? I'll tell you. I'll tell you something right now. Those, those rivets I made, divots, divots, rivets, divots. Those divots I made on that last lawn, it wasn't a mistake, it was just a happy little accident. There you go. So I'm gonna beat the living daylights out of this lawn. So here's a story. As I uh, as I do this, we had some massive storms. We've been having some massive storms coming through. Wisconsin has seen a, a fair number of tornadoes over the last I don't know week. Um, we even had one night we had our sirens go off twice in an hour, um, and there were tornadoes. There was like three confirmed within. I don't know, 20 miles of where we live. Um, you know, one was like about 15 minutes away. Uh, it's been pretty, pretty bad. The storms have been pretty bad out here. Um, and we just had more in the last couple of days. Some really bad last night. Uh, I was even coming back. Uh, if you guys check my Instagram. I had posted that I did a two hour round trip drive to pick up the uh, Zelda Loftwing ami Amiibo that I was finally get able to get my hands on. Driving back, yeah, that is a cow. Uh, driving back, um, encountered more storms. Clouds did not look good. They looked, oh, they were so scary looking. You, know, you get like three or four of these fuckers swirling around in different directions and shit and you're just like oh fuck and then we had there was tornadoes west of green bay i don't know that any and i think some touched down like south in like illinois um don't think we had any around here but yeah the storms were pretty bad and like over a hundred thousand People in the area were out of power, including where I work. So, I packed up my desk. I grabbed what I could out of the fridge, but I forgot my hard-boiled eggs. So, they still sit at work in a warm fridge. I'm going to throw those away. Packed everything up and came home. Uh, however, even though I, I thought I could work from home, turns out the backup uh, power at work it kicked in. Tried to work too hard and that burned out. So I can't. Uh, I can. I can do my emails, but I can't do anything else. So here I sit with everybody, and as I record this, that is, as I record this, as this airs, everything should be back up and running. But we got more storms coming tonight. Uh, it's also been completely oppressive. It's been like 95 degrees. Uh, 95 degree heat with a heat index of like over a hundred for days which means um, it's shitty it means it's sticky as soon as you go outside it's like pea soup in the air um, yeah it has has sucked but we're in for some relief coming up here finally some some dry days as well so that's my story as I cut the lawn today. So this is going to do it for like this. I wonder if I should just take this side now and like finish it off. Because it's getting to a point where I'm starting to run over things that. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do this can't see with the shadows though and now our rooster just cock-a-doodle dude if you guys can't hear that stuff I I barely touched it 
Fuck. Well, it's just one penalty. It's not the end of the world. At least I haven't damaged the grass. Actually, you know what? I, this mower is a little bit more satisfying to use than the other one. It m might not be as fast or as wide. And maybe that's my maybe that was my problem. Like I should have been able to buy that other one, and I somehow fucked that up. Because I'm gonna need something with a wider cut. I can't just always count on this one. You know to get the job done. So that takes care of that. Uh, a little bit more than halfway there with, I, you know, if, if this keeps up, um, it should be good on time. So yeah, after I'm done cutting, uh, I'm going to hop on my work computer behind me. Uh, I haven't heard any emails come through. So there's that, but uh, see if the remote server is back up. I can actually get some work done hopefully today, aside from this shit. It's real easy to miss spots with this one, though, because it's cutting. I think it's cutting from the back. I'm pretty sure, unless that's the hopper that's cutting from the front. I don't, cause I don't know. The, I don't know how this shit works. I don't know nothing about riding lawnmowers. Um, but because it doesn't cut as wide. See, like I turned here and there's like a whole swath of grass that I missed. Alright, so now for this, this big chunky area here. I don't think I can go any faster, I'm pretty sure. Is that like a hill? Was I like elevated there for a second. And I know this one's more satisfying because I feel like this is a more satisfying cut that I'm making. Did I have to raise anything up and down? I don't think so. Not on this one, right? I'm good. And I like a nice tight cut. Like, uh, for about half for my lawn. See, I, there's a whole bunch I'm missing here when I make a turn. On my lawn, I'll do about half the season where the notch is like you know, I'm not, I don't know, I don't measure shit, but the notch is like the second from the lowest setting, and then the back half of the season, I do it on the lowest setting. But it's also been like 
we've gone through some some drought periods here. So, so I, I was cutting at the second to lowest, a little bit longer than you than I than I usually do. I, and I, I like a nice tight cut. I think it's got to be nice and tight. Nice, nice and tight. That's how I like it. So yeah, see, turn these corners, man, and. I wonder how many of those I've. I wonder. I wonder. Like, if I go back over the lawn, I wonder how many of those freaking patches are, are gonna. I'm gonna find. Guarantee you that. Um, I mean, this probably should have been. This more would have been good for the first lawn, and then the other more would have been good for this lawn. I done fucked that up. So what do I got like it's it said like 20 was it 24 26 28 minutes I can't even remember anymore I should get it done well before that But holy crap I didn't think I would enjoy a game like this This is fucking great man this is just I don't have to take the brain XP for this it Doesn't require a lot of thinking just some some skill, a little bit, a little bit of skill, a little bit of skill, not like anything over dramatic. This is, uh, yeah, this is good. This is good. I don't buy a lot of these simulator games either. Uh, hardly ever, really. Um, I got Goat Simulator. Now I can't see. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can't see, and I am afraid to press... I don't remember what button does what, so at this point, um, I don't care. I just care about... I know, like... What was it? Oh, it's, this, it's this one. Okay. Well, that doesn't help. I'm still getting branches in my fucking face. I'd like to know where that cow is. So that is a hill because it took him like a while to back up over that shit. So I wasn't imagining things. He's like on an angle. I am. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's PMG. So yeah, I'll be going to uh there's this air. I'll be going to Chicago in a couple days. For my first live AEW event at the United Center. Sold out. Sold out United Center, AEW. Uh the new Friday night program, Rampage. Super excited. Hoping that a certain Somebody they've been teasing shows up who's been. Uh, I'd probably call it semi retired. I'm pretty sure that at some point uh, Mr. Phil Brooks probably considered himself retired. But uh, yeah, CM Punk. I, I grew up watching wrestling. I some spots there so that's why I went off the off the grid um grew up watching, watching wrestling and I watched it all the way th up through um when WCW started to make it a name it's for itself and um pretty much WWE F at the time, WWE, WWF at the time, but WWE now, ended up taking a backseat to WCW, and I didn't even, like, fall real hardcore into the Attitude Era um, for the WWE, like, I know that that's what they were trying to do to compete with WCW, and I just, I didn't buy into it, um, 
I did watch some Attitude Era shit, but like not. I didn't keep up with keep up with it storylines, shit like that. Um, it wasn't until WCW was bought by WWE that I then kind of caught up on things and I watched some some older uh, Raw and SmackDown. Kind of got caught up on that whole what they were doing with the Attitude Era, and I watched watched it for a while. And I don't know, I gave up on it. Like I just stopped caring about the WWE. Um, but then I kind of like got to a point where I was like, there's some characters I really liked. I freaking love Edge. He's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Um, of the modern, I guess you could call it a more modern era. Um, but it really was like CM Punk that like really got me back into WWE. So when Punk left, I mean that was pretty much that was pretty much it for me. Pretty much didn't care. And especially then when Edge well, when he first thought he retired <laughs> from injury, uh, I mean I'm like, well Edge is gone, CM Punk is gone. There was a, a storyline that was being beat to fucking death called The Authority with Stephanie McMahon, Helmsley, and Triple H, and sometimes Vince. Never Linda. Linda would always, like... Like, when she would make the rare appearance, was always, like, a good guy. But anyway, uh... Yeah, it got tired and boring, and I... I went to Ring of Honor for a little bit, and I'm like, nah, you know, I'm just done with wrestling. And then AEW came along. Never really got into TNA Impact at all. That was just garbage to me. Even though uh, Sting, one of my old all-time favorites from back in the 90s, early 90s going forward, even before the Crow persona, um, even them adding Sting and Hogan and whatever, like, I was just like, eh, like, they tried too hard, but AEW is the fucking shit, man, AEW is where it's at, so, I'm so totally super excited, I'm almost done with this lawn, too, I'm almost done with this lawn, too, I mean, for a promotion to bring CM Punk back, possibly, I mean, if they, he doesn't show up, in a few days, that's going to be like a real big bait and switch peak that AEW did, and I don't know, they're going to upset a lot of people, so. So, I can't even possibly do 100%. Because once you're done, how the hell do I get out of here? Once you're done, you're done. So I don't know if I did 100% or not. But I only had the two penalties. Over here. And then right here. Wait, what's that? I don't know why that was like that. Hey. That looks nice and tight. That looks... That looks gorgeous. That is beautiful. God damn, that's so fucking great looking. Oh my god, I'm so good at this. So good at this. Where are we at now? All right, so I, I didn't, man, I incurred more penalties. Was that 350 higher than when I freaking damaged the grass for hitting two flowers? Anyway, uh, you know, I got some bonuses out of it, so that's cool. That's cool. 
Newcomer rank two, new level unlocked. Nice. Okay, so upgrading your company HQ, we can do that as well. Uh, it only has one vehicle bay. Once you earn more money, you can upgrade it and have a second vehicle bay. Oh, so that's why I, I couldn't have the two. Once you have a second vehicle, you can start to hire another employee also to complete extra contracts. So I, I have insufficient funds. Uh, I must already have that one, right? So I can't do that shit. Advertisements? One vehicle monthly. Social media ad. Dang, this is... This is some legit shit. Anyway, uh, so let's do some maintenance real quick and then we're gonna... We're gonna finish this off. The engine's fine. Wow, nice. Okay. Well, the vehicle value went down. So that's like legitimate. Apply for a loan? Wow, this is... This game is legit, man. This game is legit. So that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Um, do I even have a building or am I just... No, go back. Hold on a second. Oh, I don't have a building. What happens if I apply for a loan? Wait, hold on. Let's just, let's do something here for a second. Um, yeah, let's do that. So we can get more jobs, right? And then... Let's see what happens if I apply for a loan. Uh, I don't have... I'm not ranked. I have a newcomer rank of two. I need at least a newcomer rank of three. So that's not going to happen. So that's about all I can do. Um, yeah, that's all. That's pretty much it. Alright, so... Uh, lawn, lawn mowing simulator, freaking, it's so, it's weird how really good this game is. Um, I suggest that uh, if you got some money uh, sitting around and you just want something nice and chill like this, uh, go get it. Uh, PC, uh, Xbox, Series S and X optimized for such. That's going to do it. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down too. I'm cool with that as well. Subscribe if you're new here. You know, give me a thumbs up and a subscription. You're already here. Just go and click those. Helps me out immensely. Doesn't affect you in the least. Uh, so I'm not asking you to click a notification bell. You won't be bothered by that. Like and subscribe. That's That would be super awesome. Super awesome. Takes a millisecond. Share with your friends. If you really like it, share with your friends. If you really like it, hit the notification bell too. But I never ask for that because that's fine. That's cool. I don't get, I don't hit notification bells on anything I'm subscribed to. I just go to YouTube every day and just check out what's going on. Anyway, leave a comment down below on all the things. Lawn mowing. That would be super cool. Let's start a discussion. PotationRotation.com for all your potation rotation needs, including the podcast. All our links are below as well. That's going to do it. We'll see you guys next time.